Second time's the charm. Hopefully, this is my second time shooting this video. First time I did it with no sound. Okay. Well, welcome back to my channel. Today, I just wanted to share a little bit about my Invisalign journey thus far. I've known this now because I have seen such a difference in my teeth that I realized if I wait any longer, my teeth like isn't gonna be unrecognizable. So I'd rather do it now while I still sort of remember what it used to be. So overview, I am on tray nine of 44 trays. And the biggest difference so far has been in the appearance of my teeth. Um, I did have a gap at the top, my baby gap, not very big didn't really bother me i actually kind of loved it thought it made me unique but i had a baby tooth at the bottom and on top of there being a baby tooth at the bottom it was also um not straight and it was chipped um it's just not a good situation for this tooth okay so i wanted to make this video because i'm an adult like full adult a grown adult and I'm getting my last baby tooth pulled today. <sighs> it's going to be taken out and I'm going to get Invisalign and they're going to close my gap. And it's going to be a rough first couple of months because I'm going to have a gap on the top and the bottom. The gap on the top, I don't mind. I love it. But to keep my bite aligned with my last baby tooth coming out and since they're about the same size because that tooth wasn't very big they're gonna close the top and the bottom so i'm not gonna have a gap anymore and i am sad i feel like a part of me it's just it's there right there it actually has a uh, filling on top of it because it was shipped for the longest time but I went to two different dentists and they always made me feel like this tooth was going to fall out. Like it was eventually, it's not going to last. I may be eating an apple one day and they fall out, like make it dramatic like that. And before we go any further, I just want to say I have that tooth pulled and I am convinced that it would have lasted me at least another 30 years. 40 years, 50 years, I don't know. But that tooth was rooted in there, wasn't going anywhere. Like they made it sound like it was hanging on by the skin of my teeth. P pun or no pun intended, I don't know. But they made it seem like any second it was going to fall out. And when I saw the root of that tooth, like, yes, it was a very small tooth. I'll insert a picture. But it wasn't going anywhere. It was fine. It was, it was there to stay. I sh I could have just kept it and straightened my bite, I think, but whatever. But the biggest reason I wanted to go ahead and fix my teeth was my bites unaligned. And I will find that sometimes I'm randomly chewing and I like a piece of my tooth falls down. I don't know if that's why, but it couldn't hurt. And at this point, I just wanted it to be straight. So I have more of a reason like I if I if I cross this off the list and something like that still happens I know I have other issues but at least I can cross this off the off the list of like potential reasons now why did I go with Invisalign as opposed to anything else I'm looking down because I have notes there um I did consider other things like Candid or um there's one called Spark that's cheaper than Invisalign or a little bit cheaper, not, not, not a lot. But I went with Invisalign because they guaranteed my bite. With me losing the baby tooth and, there, and it being too small of a place to insert another tooth, yeah, I was told that there was no way to guarantee that my bite would be aligned after my treatment was complete. And at that point, I was just wasting money because my main reason was to fix my bite. So yeah, I went with Invisalign because they can guarantee my bite. So in the process, my tooth was scanned 
and I guess it, it was sent all to the lab so that they can print out what my teeth will look like towards the or my treatment plan they could print out my treatment plan and then I had my baby tooth pulled which didn't hurt the most annoying part was of that was it being numb for like three hours or four hours afterwards but no it didn't hurt at all it just felt weird um just not having a tooth there and plus the tooth the tooth next to it was also crooked so like when i pressed my tongue against it it was like crooked teeth and nothing next to it so it just, it just felt weird it felt weird it felt like there was there's this huge space even though it really wasn't because my baby tooth was pretty small to begin with initially i got my first three trays and I was supposed to change those every two weeks. After that, I went back to the orthodontist. I went back to the orthodontist. They put in attachment for my teeth and that's supposed to help move it. I think faster, I don't know. And also um, when they are trying to align my bite, they're gonna hook some, I'm gonna be able to hook like a rubber band to my thing and try to straighten out my teeth a little bit like to help align my bite. So I got my attachments in and then I got nine more trays. So I got, I'm on tray, I got tray four to 11. And I'm changing those out every week. And the difference between like the first three trays and these trays is like uncomparable. I'm pretty sure within like the next two to three trays, my, my front gap will definitely be closed. My bottom gap, will probably be closed like it's a lot of movement very quickly now and what do i hope to achieve so i wanted my teeth i want my teeth to be straight i want to close my bottom gap and i want my bite to be aligned my top gap has been like a running conversation with me and my ortho orthodontist he really wants us to close it I happen to like it. I'm African, it's a thing of beauty among, especially like West African countries. I can't speak for East African countries, but it's a thing of beauty. So like closing it feels weird. And I don't think everybody's supposed to have like matching teeth. So it's something that is a little bit unique to me. So I don't want to close it all, all the way, but I honestly like how it is right now with my top teeth being straight and then my baby up so there. But so what we came up with, me and my orthodontist, was we will try to close it first. And if I can live with that, we'll leave it like that. If not, we can open it back up. And he did assure me that there is still room in my plan to open it back up if we need to. And just... I'm still leaning towards that. Like I'm not, I'm not convinced. I was meant to have completely closed teeth on this earth. I'm not convinced. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see where my treatment plan goes and just see my teeth in the end. I do want to show you guys what my teeth looks like now. Uh-huh. Ow. So there's where my baby tooth was, and then my baby gap, which I think is perfect. One thing I notice is when I have these in my mouth, I feel like I talk funny and I retain more spit. Like, even just taking it out now, I have a lot of spit in my mouth and I'm swallowing quick, but it's just, yeah. I, I just feel like I retain more spit with it. Also, it's a bit annoying having to take it out every time I want to eat. I've never been a person who will sit and have large meals. So because of that, I have like, I eat often as opposed to much. I don't eat much, I eat often. So I find that I'm constantly like having to take this out of my mouth to eat. I was initially afraid that I would lose a bunch of weight because I would avoid taking it out. I do not avoid taking it out. It is a little bit awkward taking it out. Like 
the first day I get a new tray, but uh, other than that, it's it's fine. But I do take it out like often to eat. Um, I have end up misplacing my trays for some time after I eat because I'll like wrap it in napkin and sit it next to me and then I'm like oh my god where's my tray can't find it uh I ended up losing one at the airport one time because I put it in my box of food that I was eating and then threw the food away so then I had to like fish through the trap find find the box it was it was right at the top so it wasn't dramatic but like find the box take my tray out can't put it back in until I sanitize it of course so then it, it was just out of my mouth for the rest of the day while traveling. Um, oh, and the care of these things, which I think is pretty cool. So they give you these like little packets that you can pour in the water to clean it. But they give like two packets and I'm supposed to have 44 trays total. So I don't, I guess they want you to pay. I don't know. But my orthodontist assistant actually told me just use dentures cleaner so and it works fine and it works great and it has caused me no problem so yeah every time i take out my tray i do it like at night or and in the morning i just put my little dental cleaning drop thing in warm water and drop my trays in there and let it sit for like a minute or two take it out brush it and put it in my mouth and it is fine so that's that's what I've learned so far. Um, like I said, I'm on week nine of 44 weeks. My gap, my top gap will be closed like in the next week or two. Bottom gap, I'm thinking within like the next three, three weeks or so. Just because it's a little bit bigger. But I think the biggest thing is like straightening out the tooth right next to it. And that's going to take care of most of the gap. And then it's closing it. So I'm just ex I'm excited to see my mouth at the end and see if I can live without a gap. I I don't want to see that actually. I want my gap. But yeah. Well, that's my video for today. I'll insert just pictures and videos and anything I can to kind of show you my progress. And thanks for watching if you made it all the way to the end. See you next time. Bye.